Morning. Um, on our way out on another Ordax today, going to uh, North Wales, a um, place called Ruthin. Ruthin, Ruthin, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced. It's a 200 kilometer, and I'm just on the way to the start. It's a peak Ordax one, starting at Dean Row, south of Stockport. So uh, let's go, and I'll bring you back when we, uh, when we start the Ordax. Start Dean Row, south of Stockport. Uh, I'm going to go uh, leave here, going to Ruthin in Wales, North Wales, and back just past Wrexham. Uh, we're going to Dean Row here, Waverton, Ruthin, Ruthin, back into England at Mal Pass, and then back here to Dean Row. So it's one, uh, there's only three controls before back to here. And it's 208 kilometres apparently, so uh, let's see how we get on. Um, yeah, it should be a good day out. See you later. Coach coming in, uh, just left Daverham, Daverham, a mile or so down the road, and um, we're going to go over a bridge over the Weaver uh, near Winsford. And um, well, last time I came this way, we had to go down a diversion, so I'm hoping it's going to be open. If not, we'll be finding another way round. We'll find out in a second. It's a bit off roady. There's no sign saying it's closed, so let's go for it. Morning. Puddles. Yeah, I know. Potholes, puddles, gravel, mud. Right, this is the bridge over the Weaver. Uh, this has been closed for, um, well, quite a few months to be to be fair. Every time we've come past down here, coming either this way or back towards uh, Stockport, it's been closed. Uh, so we've had to go through a diversion through a golf club. Uh, anyway, looks like it's open, it's very nice. We do, we're doing that road up a bit up there. I shouldn't really have gone up there on my road bike because it's a road bike, but you don't get a choice. Anyway, onwards.
race circuit. Just coming into the uh, first control, Waverton, which is, uh, I don't know, two, three miles out of uh, Chester. We're going to be going through the middle of Chester on a canal path, apparently. So anyway, we're getting to town here. And, um, yeah, getting to town, village, wherever it is, and uh, log on the uh, Eber of it, a quick bite to eat, and then onwards. And then after this control now, um, there's a bit of climbing, and then they drop into Ruthin, Ruthin. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right, this is Waverton. Gonna have a quick sandwich, biscuit, and uh, just log on here. Let's have a look, see what it says. Waverton, 53 kilometres. Let's register out. We've registered. The next one's rough in 95. So I've got about 40 kilometres. I do know there's a bit of a climb up. We're on this canal. Uh, I missed the turning back there. So anyway, I'm joining it there. That's why I have had to come down the stairs. Um, anyway, this way into Chester. Anyway, mustn't loiter. Chester going through where uh, the middle of it by looks like I've not been down here before. We're in Chester. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, the big weir. It's a River D. Uh, I think the D is the border between uh, England and Wales. Well, I'm sure it is. And just over there is the uh, old Roman Wall. I think. But I'm not too sure. Anyway, and that's into Chester Centre. Very nice. Anyway, onwards to Ruffin. Better keep going. the uh, climb before Ruthin. I think it's up and then uh, I drop in. Uh, the main road says 30 miles but um, Brighton says less so I'm hoping this is less but we'll find out. I think this is going the direct route. Waterproof time.
Jesus, this is steep. 12%. Um, this is the uh, mountain mole um, on the way uh, to Rutting. Uh, don't ask me to pronounce it because I've got a clue, but it was steep coming up. The bikes over there have come over from that direction. And we're going down there where that car's going now. I think that's the town, but I wouldn't swear to it. <sighs> anyway, let's get going. Lighter than off. Right, this is Ruthin. Uh, I've just been in this cafe here, very nice it was as well. They stayed open for me. Uh, they were just about to shut up anyway, I just had a toasty refuel. Uh, next stop here is Mal Pass. I think these will climb out of here and then hopefully um, I should do it a bit quicker getting back. Well, who knows though, who knows. It, um, I've got to admit that hill on the way over, uh, the lady in the cafe told me what, how to pronounce it, but I still can't pronounce it. That was very steep and long. Anyway, we'll find out. Anyway, it's raining. I'm hoping I don't get too wet. Let's get back on the road. I'm out. I think this is the last fairly large one. Hope it's not as big as the last one. You never know around here. Oh, this is a oh, this is a big hill coming out of Ruthin on the way to Mile Pass. Bangor on D next. Um, then Mile Pass. Oh, quite high up. It's not out of the top yet. Let you have a look. Needed some water. We came across this. It is. What was this? Very kind of him. Right. Back to it. Banger on D. This crunch tree. Having a 
quarter mile past, nearly there. I'm going to stop, call up, um, log in, last control, and then the final leg. Bring you back. Okay, let's log in at Mal, uh, Mal Pass uh, register. Right, going to co-op. Going to co-op now and get a brew. It's lagging it down. Right, I'm in Church Minchel. It's about 30k to go now, I think. It's um, well, it's terrible, horrible. Um, so, less than 20 miles ish. Um, yeah, about 30k. So, just have to keep going. made it. Uh, this is quite possibly, uh, well, not even possibly, the uh, wettest um, Ordax I have ever done. Absolutely drowned. Anyway, still had a good time. Um, I haven't even done much loitering at a time it's been that wet. Anyway, still raining on my way home and I've changed my mind. It is the wettest Ordax I've ever done. Not possibly. It is. No loitering.